third generation BMW X6 looks broadly similar to its predecessor, but don't be fooled by the lookalike silhouette. It's bigger, more powerful, and more efficient than before. Love it or hate it, you have to respect a vehicle that's sold in such numbers and which has evolved into something rather special. Has there been a more divisive car than BMW's X6 launched in the last decade? Possibly not. The original E71 series first generation version debuted back in 2008 and the formula was pretty simple. It was basically an X5 with a coupe style sloping back. Now, lots of people got very aerated about this, claiming that here was a car with the handling shortcomings of an SUV, coupled with the limited practicality of a coupe, the worst of both worlds. But then the X6 sold and sold in serious numbers. In fact, BMW shifted more than a quarter of a million of the things before launching a smoother looking F16 series second generation model in 2014, which nearly doubled that sales tally before this Mark III G06 series version was introduced in mid 2019. It's got more competition now, thanks to the arrival of the Audi Q8, the Porsche Cayenne Coupe, and a second generation version of the Mercedes GLE Coupe. Can this Mark III model X6 hold its own against cars as good as those? You've probably got used to the X6's shape by now, and you'll also have got used to BMW's spectacularly cumbersome naming conventions for its SUVs. The X6 range consists of a couple of diesel versions and three petrol variants. Most, as before, will want the X-Drive 30D diesel derivative, which puts out 265 horsepower. That's what we've got here. Though BMW also expects a following for the faster M50D diesel with its more potent 400 horsepower version of the same 3 litre six cylinder unit. Your petrol options vary between a 340 horsepower six cylinder X-Drive 40i model and two top variants that use different versions of BMW's 4.4 litre twin turbo V8, the 530 horsepower M50i and the top barnstorming 616 horsepower X6M. The X6M uh, can make 62 miles an hour in just 3.8 seconds. Even this base X-Drive 30D diesel can do it in six and a half seconds. All the engines come mated to an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Whatever your choice of engine, it will come packaged up with BMW's usual drive performance control driving mode system. The normal Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus settings as usual, tweak, steering, throttle response, uh, gear change timings and stability control thresholds to suit the way you want to drive. And they influence ride quality too thanks to the standard variable damping control setup. Even in comfort mode though the ride quality is very much on the firm side. For those who can't decide between all the modes available there's an extra adaptive setting that you'll probably end up selecting nearly all the time just as we've done. The advantage of doing that lies not only in your being relieved of the need to make decisions about driving setup, uh, the computer software does that for you, it also lies in the way that predictive technology is introduced into the process, the system using the sat-nav to prime the car for upcoming hazards like sharp bends or junctions. It all works so smoothly that you're never really aware that so much is going on behind the scenes to make your journey smoother and more efficient. As you'd expect, all X6 variants feature BMW's intelligent all-wheel drive system, which, as usual, has a rear-wheel bias. In situations that don't require all-wheel drive, power can be channeled entirely to the rear wheels in the interests of efficiency. In pushing on through the turns, you'll never be left in any doubt that this is a big car and it'll feel the 2.3 ton weight it is when you attempt your favourite back road home. Still, if you equip it out with everything the Bavarian brand can offer, you'll be surprised by just how agile this G06 Series X6 model can potentially be. 
To that end, your dealer will want you to consider paying extra for the Adaptive M Suspension Professional Package. Now this gives you two elements, an active anti-roll feature to quell cornering body roll at speed through tighter turns, and integral active steering, BMW's four-wheel steer setup, which at higher speeds fractionally turns the rear wheels in the same direction as the fronts for greater cornering stability, and at lower speeds turns the rear wheels in the opposite direction as the fronts to enable a tighter turning circle. Integral active steering can also be ordered separately. While talking about optional handling tech, we'll tell you that the top M50i, M50d and X6M variants come with a system that can be optionally added in lower down the range, the M Sport Differential. Now with this, there's an electronically controlled M differential lock at the rear axle and a controlled locking function for the rear differential, which maximizes traction for sharper handling. Incidentally, this feature also increases the car's ability to put down its power on rough ground, which is why that M Sport differential is also a feature of the optional X off-road pack. Here, it optimizes traction on roads where grip levels vary between the right and the left rear wheels by preventing a wheel with insufficient grip from spinning. The X off-road pack also gives you a series of transmission and suspension settings for various different surfaces. Uh, the additional modes badged X sand, X rocks, X gravel and X snow. But you're more likely to prioritise this car's tarmac technology. We particularly like the standard reversing assistant. This helps you when exiting parking spaces and manoeuvring within confined areas like car parks. To do this, it stores the recent parking speed steering movement so that when prompted, the reversing assistant can reverse your X6 for up to 50 metres by steering it along the same line it took when moving forward. All the driver has to do is to operate the accelerator and the brake pedals and monitor the area around the car. Neat. This Mark III X6 sits 6mm lower than its predecessor and is also 26mm longer and 15mm wider for a more assured, planted roadway stance. BMW reckons the X6 combines the robust presence of a BMW sports utility vehicle with the hallmark sporting elegance of the brand's coupes to create an unmistakably athletic appearance. Well, that might be the case if you consider an American football player or a pro wrestler to be athletes. It's hefty and carries quite a swagger. The silhouette looks much as before and the car squats over its wheels like a konashiki in the sumo circle. The initial shock at the car's styling has dissipated somewhat with age and with the right colours and wheels the X6 can even look quite handsome. The deeply sculpted flanks incorporating the air breathers which work better here than on a 4 series coupe. Wheel sizes start at 19 inches but most cars will come with 21 inch alloys like these uh, with even larger 22 inch rims available at the very top of the range and with M Sport trim on request. At the front, adaptive LED headlights are now standard and as part of an optional visibility package can be had with piercing BMW laser light beams which feature a non-dazzling high beam function and an extended range of up to 500 metres. We've got them here. If you really want to be bling, you can even have an optional illuminated BMW kidney grill. You'll most easily identify this as a third generation model by a glance at the rear, which features these slimmer full LED tail lamps that sit below the radically swept back tailgate. That features subtle spoilers both above and below the tailgate glass. Avoid entry level trim and you also get this potent M Sport exhaust system. The cabin sits you high and commandingly and is much the same as it is in an X5. You get the same 12.3 inch screens for the instrument binnacle and the centre of the dash as are fitted to that car. It all adds to a quality ambience that's taken a notable step forward with this third generation model with its supple leather upholstery, stylish dashboard architecture and near faultless 
build quality from the US Spartanburg factory. Like all BMW's latest models, this one gets the brand's impressive and very intuitive Hey BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant voice control setup for the infotainment system, which helps you, uh, learns your habits and becomes familiar with your favorite settings. You can even give it a name if you think it'll help you bond with it more easily. Four-door coupes are usually pretty difficult for taller people to get into at the rear, but thanks to this car's higher SUV stance, that's not a problem here. Two adults can comfortably be accommodated in the back with this third generation model's 42 millimeter increase in wheelbase, delivering a fraction more legroom than before. There's also a little more shoulder room now too. Only if you try and accommodate a third tallish person in the middle will the downsides of that plunging roof line start to become apparent. There's a fairly low transmission tunnel. You can have four zone climate control and there's a pull out armrest with uh, cup holders and storage. Finally, there's a decently sized 580 litre boot. That's only 65 litres less than you get in an X5. You get this useful folding tonneau cover and there's extra space beneath the floor on this hydraulic strut, uh, although only because uh, BMW doesn't provide any sort of spare wheel. If you use these catches to release the 40-20-40 split seat backs, you can release up to 1,525 litres of extra room. Prices start at around £60,000 for this base X-Drive 30D diesel variant with 265 horsepower. There's also a 400 horsepower M50D diesel version for just under £75,000. The petrol options start with the 340 horsepower X-Drive 40i, then there's the M50i with 530 horsepower for around 77,000 and the top X6M with 616 horsepower for around £113,000. As you'd expect, given these premium asking prices, all variants get an extremely high standard of spec, including uh, Vanaska leather upholstery and ambient lighting. If you're looking at the X-Drive 40i petrol or X-Drive 30D diesel variants that most customers choose, then you're almost certainly going to want to budget just under £5,000 more to upgrade from standard sport to more dynamic looking M Sport spec. Uh, that's what we've got here. As part of that, the wheel size rises from 19 to 21 inches, and even bigger 22 inch rims are available if you find another £1,850 for the M Sport Plus pack. As for interior features fitted across the range, well, of course, you get all the usual executive niceties, including a hi fi loudspeaker system, plus the brand's live cockpit professional package, which gives you a high resolution instrument cluster behind the steering wheel with a screen diagonal of 12.3 inches and a 12.3 inch control display. This BMW Live Cockpit Professional package also features an adapted navigation system and a hard drive based multimedia setup along with two USB ports plus Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. When it comes to options, well, in our driving experience section, we mentioned the Adaptive M Suspension Professional Pack, also the Integral Active Steering and the M Sport Differential Package. In terms of non-driving stuff, we'd want to look at the panoramic glass roof. It's 83% larger than before, or even better, the huge panorama glass sky lounge roof, which features more than 15,000 graphic patterns in the glasswork to generate a display reminiscent of a starlit sky. Also optional is the ambient air package, which refreshes the air inside the car by ionization and allows the driver to choose from eight selectable interior fragrances. The X6 marks a great riposte to those who still rail against big, inefficient vehicles. While it would be difficult to deny that charge for this car based on its size, the X6 is anything but inefficient. All model variants now comply with the requirements of the latest EU6D temp emission standard. 
the system of emission control for the petrol engines includes a gasoline particulate filter, while the diesel models boast BMW's blue performance technology, comprising a particulate filter, an oxidation catalyst, an NOx absorption catalyst, and an SCR catalyst with AdBlue injection. Now, as a result, the petrol xDrive 40i delivers up to 35.3 miles to the gallon on the WLTP combined cycle, and any DC CO2 emissions are up to 181 grams per kilometer. The xDrive 30D diesel we're trying here returns a combined fuel consumption of up to 46.3 mpg WLTP, equating to CO2 emissions on the any DC standard of up to 159 grams per kilometer. Using those cycles, the M50D diesel, meanwhile, posts a combined fuel consumption figure of up to 40.9 miles to the gallon and CO2 emissions of up to 181 grams per kilometre. You'll need deeper pockets to run the petrol M50i variant, of course. This delivers a combined fuel consumption of up to 27.2 miles to the gallon and CO2 emissions of up to 237 grams per kilometre on the NEDC cycle. What else might you need to know? Well, uh, routine maintenance is dictated by condition-based servicing that monitors oil level and engine wear, taking into account how long it's been and how far the car has travelled since its previous garage visit. You can check all of this using menus in the iDrive centre dash display and your car will give you four weeks notice of when a checkup is needed so that you have plenty of time to book it. Now, to help plan ahead for the cost of regular work, at point of purchase, you'll be offered a BMW service inclusive package that lasts for three years and 36,000 miles. When you pause to consider it, the BMW X6 shouldn't really have caused such controversy. It's a bit like getting hot under the collar about a 4 Series Coupe when you can buy a perfectly practical 3 Series Touring for less. They're not the same thing. The buyers aren't the same and BMW ought to be congratulated for having the savvy to spot this latent demand. Even if it's not your thing, and there are many that would hold their hands up to that, the X6 deserves a certain measure of respect. This third generation G06 series model doesn't diverge too markedly from the template laid down by its predecessors. It's just better in every measurable regard. More powerful, more economical, quicker, bigger and less polluting. It's also built of superior materials, is arguably a bit better looking and comes with some tempting high-tech options. Admire it for what it is. The X6 isn't going away.